Hello, scoundrels. I hope you are doing well today. Welcome to the Scoundrel's Den. I am currently hanging around in Torinos because I am about to do some stealth PvP. Yes, I'm using a cloaking device. I am currently in a stealth bomber and I'm going to show you what a stealth bomber is capable of. I recently got into this ship because of a, a corp mate of mine called uh, Daminus. So big shout out to Daminus. I have a separate video that Daminus has kind of uh, given me uh, permission to kind of to to to, to, uh, to make this week about speed tanking, but I need some more skills in this ship to be able to show you exactly what the the speed tanking is capable of. Because I need expert frigate command, uh, and I just don't have expert frigate command yet, and it's going to be a little while before I do. Uh, I might be able to show you the theory of the speed tanking, but I won't be able to show you any act actual ridiculous high tier content because unfortunately I just don't have the skills necessary to make this ship work. Um, but I do have the skills necessary to be able to do a stealth bombing PvP video, which is what we're going to be doing today. So if you enjoy the content, feel free to like and subscribe. Also, thanks to G2A for sponsoring the channel. There is a reference link in the description below. So, the Hound, let's talk a little bit about it. It is a tier 6 frigate, and every single one of the four major races, Amar, Galente, Kadari, and Minmatar, have a stealth bomber. Um... It's the Manticore, the Purifier, the Hound, and I can never remember what the Galente one's called, so we're going to go and have a look right now. Uh, all of them have stealth bombers, and they all just get slightly different bonuses. But there is a reason that I like the Hound over the other uh, stealth bombers. It is the Nemesis. But yeah, there is a reason that I like the Hound over the other stealth bombers, um, and it is purely because of the speed, and it, the flexibility of this ship is really nice for both PvP and PvE scenarios. So all of the stealth bombers have this um, roll bonus. You get a minus 90% medium torpedo, not missiles in general, torpedo power grid need, with a 50% uh, cloaking device reactivation delay, so minus 50%, so you can, um, you can activate it twice as fast after coming out of cloak, uh, and also... The ability to have a Kova Ops cloaking device on the ship, which you can't have on every ship. And then a minus 100% cloaking device lock delay, which means you're able to lock immediately jumping out of cloak. Um, you're going to get bonuses to specific types of damage. Um, and the Hound is going to give you a bonus to explosive and EM per medium missile torpedo upgrade bonus. Um, and then you're also going to get a medium torpedo flight velocity from having the medium torpedo upgrade. I am currently four, so I haven't maxed this out yet. So my DPS and my flight time is not at the absolute maximum. But I just wanted to let you know that that's there. And then there is also, this is the most important one. All of them get a bonus per expert frigate command, but the Hound gets flight velocity. Which, and if you're playing pure bomber, it might not be the most um, important. But because this thing can be used to speed tank, I like the flight velocity because it already has one of the highest base flight velocities out of any of the other speed, uh, stealth bomb frigates. But then you add a potential 25% extra flight velocity to this, you are looking to match Dramiel speeds almost in the Hound, which is going to make it a very quick ship, which is why I like it. If you look at the skills that we're going to need for this ship before we talk about the fittings. Um, I'll talk about the most important ones. I have kind of already talked about them in the roll bonus. But obviously you're going to need anything with frigate. So frigate command, advanced frigate command, and expert frigate command, especially expert frigate command if you're looking to use this for PvE scenarios. Um, you're also, I'm currently also afterburner and micro warp drive are both really important afterburner if you're looking to speed tank which is why i'm actually currently doing that right now um shield operation is good but realistically you, you know it's a frigate you're probably going to die but shield operation especially if you're running um small shield boosters you're going to get a bonus out of that frigate defense upgrade not going to make a huge difference but it will make a small difference to you frigate engineering and expert frigate engineering targeting is also really important you may want to invest in electronic warfare um, especially if you are um uh, running with stasis webifiers but honestly it's not a hugely important thing and then when it comes to missiles quite clearly you are looking for medium missile torpedo operation all the way up to expert and medium missile torpedo upgrade as well as advanced medium uh, missile torpedo upgrade and everything else that you can get for medium missiles so those are the skills that you're going to need in terms of fittings you can have any torpedo i currently spent a lot on the ship i am running c type which is the most expensive torpedo on the market right now they're at 25 mil a piece or so um but you can run 
any torpedo and even just the torpedoes that are a few levels below this are pretty cheap because very few people run torpedoes um, i'm only running this because i want the best for um, pve scenarios and if i lose it i'm doing it for the video i, I don't care I've got I've got enough money that I don't have to worry about losing um, my, my sea taps and that's not a humble brag that's just me saying that's just me referring back to don't fly what you can't afford to lose I can afford to lose it if I lose it it's okay guys um, and for pvp I'm running a micro warp drive maintaining range is really important especially because bomber mode really reduces your speed um, I'm running a a navy ballistic missile system to increase my damage and i'm running a cloaking device the reason i'm running this and no defensive options is because i'm mainly looking to use my speed and range as the main form of defense i am running pvp with someone else if you're running a stealth bomber by yourself you are going to die it, or, or unless you're going up against ventures or, or or something or you have a backup plan of speed tanking once you've uncloaked but for the most part if you're trying to uncloak and go bomber mode um you're going to die because you're so slow and then I'm running two stasis weapon fires. That is if I ever want to enter into a speed tank scenario or if I'm going up against a smaller ship and I need those mis these torpedoes to have more effectiveness. Slowing down the enemy ship is going to make the torpedoes deal more damage. Cool. That is, uh, that is my ship uh, with 290 cold DPS, which is pretty good. Now, before we quickly do some examples, let's talk about bombard mode or bomber mode. This is something that you activate, and if you activate it, like you can see here, there is a 12 second timer where you cannot reactivate it and you cannot change mode. So you've got to be very careful about when you activate it because of the bonuses that you have to uh, to be aware of. All damage increased by 20%. Missile flight time increased by 200%. So you're getting, a, you're getting a DPS boost and you're also increasing the range of your missiles. The range of my torpedoes is about 14 kilometers right now. But in bombard mode, I ha have an increase of deep, increased DPS and my missiles now have a 40.62k range. So I'm at a 40k range with, with the bombard mode on. However, my missile explosion split speed drops and my miss missile explosion uh, radius doubles, which is going to make these uh, missiles particularly bad against small and fast moving targets. You use bombard mode primarily to deal damage upwards against bigger ships whilst trying to maintain range on them. You also get a ship speed modifier of minus 95%, which means that you have a 5% of your total speed in bombard mode, and your signal radius is going to increase, making you a slightly easier target to hit. Obviously, after 12 seconds, you can drop, and you cannot re-enter bombard mode for another 12 seconds. Okay, that's everything. Let's do a brief uh, a ex few examples of how this works in PvP. So I'm going to do a very brief talk before we get into some live talking in the PvP. I'm going to just show you through exactly what I did. So you need to make sure that you're at least 2k away from a gate or a station before you activate your cloaking device. You can't actually activate it if you're closer than that. And then you're going to warp in at range to either an anomaly or a belt, wherever you're looking to get some information on. When you've warped in at range, the first thing you're going to look at is uh, if there is anything in that particular anomaly or belt that is worth killing. Uh, and then you're going to start to relay some information to your fleet if you're working in a fleet. If you're not working in a fleet, you may be able to approach them with the cloak and just go for the kill. But because I'm working in a fleet, I'm going to re relay some information. I'm going to relay the, the ship type and the potential loadout. And I'm going to relay how far they are off the direct spawn point. So in this particular instance, the spawn point is the Garista small anomaly there. And I can see the cruiser is very close. And so I can say to my friend, warp in at my location, so if he warps to me, he'll warp to the Garista Small Anomaly at zero, and he should be able to tackle the Caracal straight away. That is the information that I've been able to give to him, and as soon as he's able to do that, and as soon as he's in the system, I can then begin to attack the Caracal at the same time. And so that is what we chose to do right here. So let's jump into the action. Unless he's got a load of warp core stamps, we'll be good. Oh yeah, he's only got civilian drones, so he should die pretty quickly. Okay. Unleash the bomb. I'm bomber moding him. <sighs> he might have rapid mediums. I don't think he does, though. He's locking me. He's locking me. He's uh, engaged on me at the moment. Are you doing a bit of damage? I'm not doing much damage to him, so do you, I think I should probably close the distance. Okay. Because I'm actually... Shield. I'm actually doing nothing to him right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna close the distance. I'm gonna I'm gonna orbit him at at 14k. Cause I need to I need to slow him down. 
We're going to have to kill him pretty quick, so I'm going to go out of shield extender That's soon. It's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I, I, I can do it in bomber mode. Bomber, he needs to be a bigger ship for me to get it in bomber mode. I'm going to webify him now. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Got him now. Easy enough. <laughs> it, I really don't do much damage to cruisers in bomber mode. They need to be bigger than a cruiser for me to really deal damage to them. Yeah, there he's he goes, Just watch out for the uh, rats. Yeah, the load of stuff's on docks. Oh yeah, there's a ca two caracals and omen. There's another caracal. I'm just I'm just cloaked, seeing if anyone's if anyone's going anywhere. Okay. There's a caracal. I don't really just... like fighting on station. We don't have enough uh, damage to kill stuff on station. No, 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 no. There's a caracal sitting at about. I'm gonna see if he warps anywhere. He's sitting at eighty k from me. They won't be able to see me right now, so I'm just going to check if they warp any, if they're going anywhere. He looks like he's being joined by a few people in a fleet. Two can can you wave prototypes, an omen, and a caracal. They're grouping up for something. Okay, so one of the caracals. Is, oh, he's got he's got to an anomaly. He's <laughs> he's got to an anomaly. Bait. What, he's gone to a small anomaly? Yeah, that's bait. I'm going to whop in at 50. I'm going to just have a look. I mean, I'm, I'm cloaked, yeah. right? I'm cloaked. What does it matter? They have no idea that I'm here, and there's no way that they're... If he starts yeah, doing the anomaly, I'll, I'll, I will literally sit there on the anomaly for a few minutes and see if he just does it or if he's just waiting around. Okay. This Caracal's 15k away from me, so I'm going to have to be very what's careful. His, what's Corp is in? What's his name? He's ASUK. A-S-U-K. -A I mean, uh, there's a few of those alliances around it. Oh my he, god, the Caracal just killed the Purifier on station. Did he actually? Yeah. What this Caracal fuck? is running... Oh, dude, he's running mediums. He's not even running... Um, Fine, I'm coming. He's not running rapids. Which one, one is it? I'll walk to you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm walking to you. You're going to warp in on the anomaly at 50. I'm, I'm out at 50k. He's out at 50k. And it'll well. drop me at zero. It'll drop me at zero. Yeah. Fuck. I'll see if I can get to him. He's aligned at station. He's aligned. I'm not going to do anything until... Got him pointed. Have you? Yeah. Fuck it. Let's go. He won't be able to do much damage to you. Just be careful if he's got... Um, uh, webs and uh, points. It's all good. He, he won't be able to do much damage to you. I've got him webbed. Good job. If this isn't bait, I'm amazed. It's like the baitiest thing you could do. <laughs> yeah, he's just been killing rats, hasn't he? Yeah. Poor guy. Wait, I'm Could not actually doing any on. damage to him. He's just uh, locked me. I've actually just jumped out of my torpedo range by mistake. Can I get closer to him, please? Thank you. Now I've got webs on him. I don't think I'm doing damage, Jen. It's not coming up as being damage. I think it's all you. I want to get closer to him. Oh, no, I'm doing damage, Jen. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got him webbed now. Oof. Okay. I'm going to kill him and immediately get out of here. I don't <laughs> want to take the damage that I took last time. Yeah, okay. We're doing much more damage to him now. We've got him webbed. How much damage do you do, Jen? About uh, oh, he's armor repairing, poor guy. <laughs> I'm doing about 1100 every four seconds. Oh, nice. And I just need to say uh, bye bye, everyone. Yeah, I uh, I forget to say bye bye, so uh, I'm saying goodbye for now for this video, and I'll see you soon.